the more I look at this planter, the more I don't want to plant it up. It's time for a change. I've had this one for too long. It's just so blue. What you doing? I start talking to the camera. You need some attention. You good boy. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Feeling kind of crafty today. You need to give it a sniff. That satisfy you. There you go. All right. Okay. All done with that. I picked up these planters a few years ago and uh, have had them out here on the table, well, a different table for that entire time. Originally I had these planted up with some, I think they were Echeverias and the Fernwood Mikado Sansevierias. I got tired of that arrangement, that planter. It was together for a few years and I decided, okay, I'm going to chuck those, the plants that were in there and wanted to start over with something new this year. Like the week after I did that, I had comments rolling in from the previous video where this was in the background. People were like, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Nobody said anything in two years and now we're gonna compliment it? Come on now. It was pretty. The problem with those Fernwood Mikado Sansevieras is they get, I mean, they get tall. They started to get up fairly high and then they block the view of the people around the table. And I don't know about y'all, I come from a family of people who are rather short. <laughs> Most of my family members, with the exception of my dad, everybody's like uh, five foot or like 4'10 to 5'2, somewhere in there. So when you have these things sitting right there, it makes it hard to see my fun size family members on the other side. The tall plants weren't working anymore. And then I figured since I'm going to be changing it up, why not just do a whole different pot? The problem is these pots, like the umbrella planters, the ones that have this divot in them, for the umbrella pole. They're not the easiest to find, but I have another nice shallow container that I absolutely love. And it's one that I would enjoy very much to have here on the table, to be able to look at it day in and day out, write it. I mean, not at eye level, but you get it down here on the table. I'm referring to this container. Isn't that just beautiful? A big shallow bowl. It's a nice kind of aged patina look to it. it has lots of texture in it. Ella's container has very nice rustic oceany nautical sort of vibe to it. It's one that I would really enjoy having out here on the table. You can see it every single day just right there. So I sat around and looked at this for a while and I was like you know we can make this work. It's just need a bigger hole in the bottom and then need to put some sort of support in the middle that's watertight so water doesn't collect on there around the umbrella base which is something that should be pretty easy to do. I ran to the hardware store I grabbed some uh, two inch PVC couplers and feel like buying a whole entire pipe didn't seem necessary. Silicone them together just because I was too lazy to go get the PVC cement and then drilled a two inch hole in the bottom of the container and then put a silicone bead in the bottom and attach that right into the pot. And then of course allowed time to dry so now this can go right there in the middle. The umbrella will just slide right through there, in theory. I mean, it should. I think it will. I measured, but you, I don't know. We'll see. I know it doesn't look centered. That's because I don't think it is. I used the hole that was already in the middle as the guide to drill the hole, and I, I think that it was off a little bit. But it's fine. That doesn't matter. Like, seriously, who cares? That's not a big deal. It's in there full of plants. I won't even be able to tell. And doesn't that look nice? There's nothing in it, but even with nothing in it, right? It's still looking pretty good. I didn't add any extra drainage holes in there. I could have put some smaller holes on each side, but really anytime I've had these succulent arrangements underneath this umbrella here, they don't get much water and they always do fine. And it gets really toasty out here during the summer. All the pavement around here, I have a little temperature sensor thing out here on the table. It hits triple digits fairly often, even though it's not necessarily that warm here in St. Louis, it's just the sun beating down and reflecting up. So the whole point there being that I don't think that this is actually going to hold on to moisture for a crazy long time period. The glaze on it is like kind of haphazard. The succulents should be okay in here, even without drainage. And the main thing is just you don't want to overwater them. I have been talking about succulents and didn't even mention, I want to plant this up with succulents. Let's do that. All right, enough about the pot. Y'all saw how I got that put together. Here I have, oh, well, that, look, that looks really nice. Here I have a container full of succulent. I was going to say scraps. They're not really scraps. They're just succulents that I ripped out of other succulent arrangements that I will be using to fill in over there. Can't use everything in here, right? Because this container is bigger than that one. So it's not, well, that's not going to work. Uh, tripod, what you doing? Tripod's got some loose nuts on it. Went ahead and filled this up with all-purpose potting mix. It should probably use a succulent mix, but I just, I didn't feel like going out and buying a whole new soil blend just for this one container. Just careful with how you water it. It'll be fine. It's not a big deal. I was originally thinking that these cryptanthus, like one on each side would look nice in here, but then I started playing around with it off camera and I wasn't really crazy about it. I like these cryptanthus a lot, but I think I could find a better use for them. I would like these in more of like a terrarium type setup. And that is why I bought them. 
Just didn't get around to making the terrarium. That's okay, can save those for future use. Ow, one thing about this container, a little abrasive, that just like ripped a big chunk of hair out of my arm. It's gonna go with some etch of areas. Start filling in with larger succulents. And then if there are any gaps to fill, can fill those in with like some sedums or you know, it's other scrap things that are weighing around. <laughs> All right, I'm not really gonna fit much more in there, huh? I could get some fillers in there, I suppose. Really wanted to get this aloe in there. It has a flower getting ready to open up on it. I don't know that you think I should try it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, that works. Be nice if there was one on the other side, but it's fine. These are kind of fun. They have a, like a, whatever this shape is, they have it. I don't know if they're supposed to have that shape, but they do. I and mean, I think it would look neat in here. I don't know, I think it's time to go in and start filling in with little things in there. I don't see that working. Might be able to do like something like that in there, maybe. Hmm. Nah, I'm not into that. That doesn't work. I think that's already looking pretty good. It, is it, does this bothering anybody else that there's not one on the other side? I'm just gonna have to get over it. Is what it is. It's fine. I'd rather have it in here and not have it symmetrical than you know, get it. It's fine. I'm going to go spend a very long time filling in all these little gaps of soil to bring that level up and then I'll try and find some little succulents to kind of poke in and have some embellishments. When putting in the little, well, we'll talk about it. We'll get there. Just a second. All right, got my scraps. Everything's filled in. Just need to pop these in place. It got really dark out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, there's some big clouds back there. I guess I should probably hurry. Sedum, Morganianum, Morganit, Burrow's tail, Donkey's tail sedums. Gonna clean off a good amount of stem here and then be careful with these because I'm pretty sure that these aren't good for the dogs. Want to put those away so he doesn't get to them. And then that should just slide right down in there. Try and guide that piece of stem down into that soil. It doesn't have to be too far down in there, really, as long as the, does anybody care? I'll go ahead and tell you anyways. Any one of these that just lays on top of the soil would take root and grow. The stem should do pretty much the same thing. I just want to make sure to have enough stem down into that soil to keep it stable since the middle of this table rotates. Don't want them flopping and flying all over the place. And these were potentially also a bad choice for this arrangement because if this is going to have much action, it's going to be moving around. These things are going to fall apart. The burrow's tail, donkey's tails, you barely touch these things and those little leaflets come flying. They're falling all over just for me, just kind of putting them in their spots there. Did I grab enough? I think this is good. Go, and then this right here is the last one. That was a lot of stem. That might not be necessary. If it goes down too far, then parts of it will start to potentially rot. I also have this one tiny little pathetic clipping from my Senecio from the String of Pearls. Really didn't have quite enough going on to get much more than this one little string off of it, but that's fine. That'll work. What do we think? I like it. I love it. I need to get it on the umbrella pole. All right, the moment of truth. Is it going to fit? All right. Okay, might have to put some things back together. That's okay. Aha, look at that. That is perfect. Exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I want to see from sitting out here on this table. It's just simple. Some succulents in there kind of give you that under the sea <laughs> vibe, not really. Those echeveras will start blooming here fairly soon. That fun inflorescence coming out from the aloe. This is gonna be nice. Low maintenance, little pop of color, but it's still like tranquil calm color. It's nothing crazy and extreme over the top. Ooh, look how that shines. You gotta admit, this is, this is an improvement over the blue pots, right? The other ones. This is much better. Not that there's anything wrong with the other ones, but I like how this looks nice and shiny. Got some reflection to it. It just, it looks classy. <laughs> Something I never really aspired to out here in the backyard. You know, the lighting, it's getting pretty dark. I'm gonna pop back in the morning, get some better shots of this and talk about it a little bit more. Hey, good morning. Like, you gotta, okay, tripod. That was a lovely sight to walk out to this morning. Absolutely love how this came out. I'm sure I said that a thousand times before. Really shouldn't let water collect in the succulents like that, but it'll be okay. Air's pretty dry today, that should dry out fairly quickly. I gave this a test water, didn't see any drips come through. I should I should have checked to the seal before I put it up there, but I didn't. Really wanted to get this done. One of those projects where it had been in the back of my mind for a long time. I wanted to do one of these for a really long time, a few years actually. I've wanted to get a different sort of pot but here in the middle of the table and I just didn't have the right one. But I think this was perfect. There's still a lot of space here. 
in the middle of the table. It doesn't come out quite as far as the old ones did, and it's just a smidge shorter. Height-wise, it's about the same, but the plants that are in it aren't as tall as what were in the others. I could have just replanted the other ones, but I just, I wanted something different here. Light-wise, there should be more than enough sun exposure here. There's some morning light that comes through at an angle, and it's going to be filtered throughout the rest of the day. There may end up being some stretching, something like that. I don't know. We will see. We're just working mostly with what I had laying around. I do think I mentioned that I use an all-purpose potting mix with this, which yeah, typically we don't do with succulents. Succulents need that sharp, sharp drainage, but the potting mix, it's the Espoma potting mix, which does hold on to quite a bit of moisture, but it's also largely coconut, which if you've ever used coconut, it tends to dry and kind of brick up and drains fairly freely. So I'm not too concerned about that, at least not with the etch of areas. However, the sedums, the burrows, tails, eh, we'll see how those do. They tend to rot if there's like way too much nutrient around them. The Senecio as well, that's in here, the string of pearls. I have to just kind of see how that goes. But this isn't going to be staying saturated, stopping wet at all times. It's just going to get a light watering maybe once a week that's going to vary throughout the summer you know you just do the finger test go in there and get down there far enough into the soil to see how dry it is i will probably allow this to dry probably 50 percent of the way between watering since there's no drainage in the bottom of the pot and it, you know if it turns out that that combination isn't working well you can always slide it off and pop a couple of small holes on each side, but it that would slightly defeat the purpose of not having the water going all over the table. Or more specifically, so I'm not confusing people, want to keep water that's been washing through soil and dirt off of the table. That's where the rust issues come into play. And it's not really the table I'm all that concerned about rusting, it's the metal pipe structure that's down into the table for the umbrellas. Umbrella, used to having two tables and having them pour all there. It's all just a long explanation for why the moisture seal was important. I probably should have checked it first, but I didn't because I really wanted to get it done, but Everything worked out okay. It's all good. I used that silicone in there. I didn't mention that the that like get filler foam probably would have worked really well too. I just wanted to make sure that there was some flexibility on that PVC pipe in the middle because things do get really windy and blustery here. The umbrella will kind of shift and move. And I didn't want that like cemented into the pot with any type of really strong adhesive that would make it so that it may end up cracking away from the sides. Want to make sure that there was some flexibility in there. <coughs> Hey, Turbo. I thought about tucking some string lights in there, like hiding them down around the succulents. That would have looked kind of neat, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I don't feel like it. So you gotta like wrap the battery pack up and hide that somewhere. And I just I wanted to keep it simple. And there's a really bright light back behind me at nighttime, and I sat out here and it did light up the side of the pot really well. I don't think at nighttime the string lights would even be that noticeable. I don't think the juice really would have been worth the squeeze there. I like it. It looks nice. Really kind of finishes off the table. I will probably keep an eye out for another one of these aloes. These aloes aren't normally hard to find. I usually find at big box stores. And if I see another one, I will want to put it over there because even though with succulents, and I wasn't really going for symmetry at all, but everything else worked out symmetrically except for the aloe. So that's, it's, I'll get over it, but it's gonna bug me in the meantime. Anyways. Thanks for hanging out. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. Oh, and sorry, I don't really have names for these Echeveras. I could take guesses, but I don't think that that would be a good idea because with each one, there are usually several that look the same, uh, but comment down below. You know what they are? Go ahead and let us know. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.